Hello and welcome to the Morello showroom and production plant at Schlüsselfeld in northern Bavaria. This vehicle is a loft liner. This vehicle, believe it or not, is used. Well, I don't think it's been used very much. <laughs> it doesn't look as though it's been used a great deal, but it does have a number plate and uh, let's well we'll start off at the rear because i do like to see a nice big garage this thing will take 250 kilos look at all that space you got in there absolutely brilliant that appeals to me no end and we've even got we've even got a bar up here and at the other end as well that'll come in handy for hanging up your suits and so as we come in the door there is a security door here and if you, know, you can see there it comes with a number it's a keyless door and it's the only door uh, i don't know what happens if you forget the code i suppose the same thing as, as happens when you lose your keys uh, let's uh, have a look up here it's coming into the door what we've got in here place to put your shoes very handy what's here Another place to put your shoes. Right, so this is on, on a seven and a half ton basis. I think we're looking here at approximately in excess of one and a half tons of payload. It's on the Iveco daily. And uh, we'll have a walk around. Right, so up there, this one comes with the bed up there. This, I think, actually is the 2022 model. It must have next to no kilometers on the clock. Now, if I can't give you a price, I'm not, actually it's unfair to give prices on used models. So I'm not even going. I'm not even going to say it. But what I am going to do is to give you a link to the Morello uh, page with its used vehicles, and you may see something there which takes your your fancy. But I've got to warn you here now, the cheapest was 206,000 euros. And that was for a 2016 model with 70,000 uh, euros, uh, 70,000 kilometers, sorry, on the clock. And um, it didn't look as nice as this one does. So you've been warned there. Okay, it's huge shower. It's got aircon, it's got a toilet in there which closes like that. There you go. And it's also got a, th a door here as well. There you go. This isn't a dressing room. I mean, look how big the shower is, but it's not a dressing room. Right? The shower's really big. I right? can see the shower's behind me. But uh, I don't want to get in with my, my, my shoes on. Uh, but, but, but. It's not a dressing room because there's no place for your clothes. The clothes are behind this door. Well, probably, this is probably where you'd keep them, I imagine. I don't think actually it's designed to be closed like that. I think the thing is to close the door. Yeah, I think it's probably the idea is to close, open this door first and then, then close this one, I think. But anyway. Heating's down there, Aldi system. And you'd keep one would keep one's clothes in here. Uh, there's an oven and microwave, fridge which uh, freeze which opens both ways, fridge which opens uh, both ways. That's what it looks like, Dometic fridge. Uh, three-way fridge huge kitchen area here with uh, proper drawers you know what I cannot believe that that is ne that looks as though it's never been used at all whatever anyway hi there's links below maybe it's because people buy these things and then they think well I won't take it out of the showroom it looks it looks so good <laughs> Uh, 
Now the um, okay, it's 20, 2022, so this doesn't really count. But but uh, I know of people selling motorhomes for more than they paid for them, right? Or or, or they're finding the way onto the market for more than was actually paid for them. So that is the current market. But this will change. This is what happens in an economic cycle. The moment there are fewer motorhomes than there are buyers, it will go back in a few years time. I don't know when, to there being more motorhomes than buyers. And that will mean the prices will come down. A supply and demand. How much will they come down by? I don't know. Now this is a motorhome site, but I did run a business magazine and I was a part-time analyst for a bank. So I do have a vague idea of these things, though I haven't been following it uh, with the same degree of interest than I once did. So I can't give you a concrete answer to the question, when will this happen? But let's be realistic. People buying motorhomes now because of COVID and they're worried about uh, maybe, maybe the situation between Russia and Ukraine or something like that. Uh, but um, there will also come a time when they think, well, I'd, I used to go on holiday and I got on a plane and somebody else did the driving or, or the flying. And then we ended up in this really nice resort and I didn't have to, uh, to remove my own excrement and look for water and things like that. So they might just give it all up. So these things are, uh, this, this, this is highly probable. So uh, I think that I'm going to give it three years. This is my current prediction that in 2025, the market will start to go the other way. I know. That's my prediction. I might be wrong, but other things might happen in the meantime. So don't start writing comments in 2025 that I got it wrong. If, because things change. But if nothing changes, that's how I feel at present. Well, in three years' time, we shall see what happens. And now, the last time I was here at Morello was four years ago. And uh, four years ago tomorrow is when I drove off and drove to Bamberg and stayed there for two nights. So, and that, that's what I, that's what I remember. Okay, use Loftliner, link below if you're interested, and uh, plenty of other vehicles on this site. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, all the best from me in Schlüsselfeld in Northern Bavaria.